we had the Sunkran celebration on Sunday. But the actual Sunkran is today, or it starts today, lasts through Thursday. People come to the monastery and they want blessings. If you want a genuine Buddhist blessing, you have to think about what was the Buddha's statement on how to help other people. You help other people by getting them to observe the precepts. You help them by getting them to reduce the amount of passion, aversion, and delusion in their minds. So if you want a Buddhist blessing, that would be a good Buddhist blessing. May you observe the five precepts, or at least the five precepts, for your whole life. May you be able to reduce or even remove passion, aversion, and delusion from your mind. Of course, this is a type of blessing that you have to do yourself. But the wish behind the blessing is that you have the strength to do that. Because it's all too easy to find reasons to say, well, I'm not up to it. Start getting doubts about the practice, doubts about yourself, doubts about the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. And it's basically the lazy part of the mind getting in the way. You have to say, okay, right? there are a lot of things I don't know yet, but I should be able to know my own mind. And the fact that I don't know my own mind, that's a cause for concern. So you look into your mind. This is how you overcome your doubts. When you think with passion, aversion, and delusion, what does it do for the mind? When you have thoughts that are not imbued with these things, what do they do for the mind? Look for cause and effect. And believe in the principle that there are causes and there are effects. The causes come from within your, in your mind, the really important ones. And so you can learn how to change them. This is how you learn, so how scientists learn. They experiment. They want to see if A has an impact on B. Well, they do some, run some experiments with A and other experiments without A and see what happens to B. If there's no difference, well, maybe there probably wasn't any causal connection. Then you look for other things. So you test things. It's the only way you're going to overcome any doubt. And then you have to look at the mind. Even though it believes in what the Buddha taught, but there's still part of it that holds back. Well, why? Look into that. Try to understand where it's coming from and whether you want to identify with it and where it's going to lead you if you follow it. And look for the resources inside. They're there. The fact that you have enough strength to keep on breathing means you also have the strength to look into your mind, to know what's going on, and to make a skillful choice. So may you keep on making skillful choices and follow through with them. That's the kind of blessing the Buddha would give.